Hey everybody, this is So Heidi, and this tutorial is on creating a repeating texture swatch in Photoshop and then bringing that into Illustrator to fill your garment flat. I prefer to keep my flats in Illustrator and pull my raster swatches from Photoshop into Illustrator rather than bring my sketches into Photoshop. Um, so let me show you how we're going to do this. I've got a denim texture to start with here, and I, what I want to do is I want to crop it. So I grab my crop tool. I'm going to hold shift to get a nice square repeat. And I'm going to pull something that has a sort of similar feel overall. And what I mean by that is that this section, all the edges look quite similar. And I mean that in contrast to if I pulled from over here, this dark portion in contrast to this light portion is going to become really obvious when we create our repeat. So I'm going to pull a portion from right about here. And I'll hit Enter to crop that. And now what I can do is just to see how it looks from a starting point is I can bring this in to Illustrator. So I select all, select all, and I'm just going to copy that. Command or Control C. I jump over to Illustrator. I'm going to paste that in my Illustrator document. And I want to turn this into a pattern swatch. It's as simple as dragging this artwork from my artboard right into the swatches panel. Now. I can delete that swatch. I've got the pattern swatch over here. I'm going to come and I want to fill all turquoise portions of my garment with the pattern swatch. So I'm going to select one turquoise portion with my direct selection tool and I choose select same fill color. Now it's selected all the turquoise portions I then choose my pattern swatch and it fills my garment with the pattern swatch. Now the the fill is a little bit big, the swatch texture is a little bit large, so I can control that pretty easily. I go Object, Transform, Scale, and from within the Scale dialog box, I want to make sure my options are set correctly. I do not want to transform objects, I only want to transform patterns. So just make sure the only checkbox is Transform Patterns, and then you can adjust the size accordingly until you get something that looks nice. I think about a 10% on this example looks pretty good, so I hit OK. Now if I zoom in, you'll see it's pretty clear where the edge of the denim texture lines up. Now it's not terrible, um, but I think we can do a better job doing a little bit of tweaking in Photoshop first before we bring the texture in. So that's what I'm going to show you how to do. So we'll jump back over to Photoshop and with our swatch already cropped, we will choose Filter, Other, Offset. And essentially what we want to do is we want to offset this so that we can see where the pattern seams up on both axes. So I can see on my horizontal axis it's lining up right about here. And I'll adjust this one. You just have to play with the positioning. Now I can see that axis lines up right about here. Now we actually did a really good job cropping this. It's going to be kind of a gamble depending on your crop, how bad or good the seam is going to look. This one's really not that terrible, uh, but sometimes it looks really bad and needs a little bit more fixing before we feel like it's ready to use. So then we take our marquee tool and we select this portion where we can see the seam in the pattern. And we choose Edit, Fill, and we want to choose content aware from our drop down. Leave the blending mode as its default to normal and 100% and choose OK. Now we deselect that and that looks pretty good. It pretty much got rid of the entire break in the repeat. We'll do the same for this other seam. Edit, fill, content aware and say OK. Now it actually looks really good. I always like to come back in and offset the pattern a little bit more to see if there's any weird spots that I just missed. Sometimes bumping it around a little bit can really bring things up that you didn't see from the beginning. But I think it actually looks pretty good. You could come in here with the clone stamp tool or the healing brush tool if you wanted to do a little bit more editing, but I feel like we've got it pretty good. So I'm going to select all, Command or Control A, copy that, jump over to Illustrator and paste that. Now I'm going to take this and I'm going to drag and drop it in here. I know it's the one on the bottom that I created second. So I'll come in and I will select the denim texture again that I want to refill. And I'm going to fill that with the one on the bottom that is the new pattern that I created. Now if I zoom in here, you can see I don't see the seam where the pattern lines up. 
as opposed to earlier, I could see the break in the pattern. A little bit more obvious if you come in really, really close. So essentially what that's done is it's smoothed out the edges so that you have a perfectly seamless repeating pattern and you can bring that into Illustrator and fill your flats with that which really adds a lot of dimension and character to um, these vector flats that we're creating in Illustrator. Thanks for watching. Check out illustratorstuff.com to grab the files that you saw used in this video.